Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dylan right again, and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to invite you to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really gonna help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today, I'm gonna continue the air kit videos. I'm gonna be focusing on image tracking. We're gonna be actually adding a couple images so that we can place 3D objects on images as we move them around. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and create a new scene. So I'm gonna go to File, New Scene. And let's click on File again to save the scene. So I'm gonna save it as Image Tracking. And we're gonna be putting it on their scenes just like we've done with all the other scenes. So Image Tracking. All right, so now we need to delete the main camera. Now right click on the Image Tracking component in the hierarchy. And I'm gonna go to XR, and we're gonna cre create an AR session. Now let's do the same thing one more time and create an AR session origin. Awesome, so now we should have the AR session and the origin and also a main camera. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a component that we haven't used before, and, and that is the component to allow us to track images. So we're gonna click on the AR session origin, a component, and we're gonna add the AR track object, object manager. There we go, and it's gonna require a couple of things. It's, it's gonna require the XR reference library and also a game object that we want to be able to place in these images. So before we do that, we need to create a new asset. So I'm gonna go and create a new folder. And this one is gonna be image library assets. And you can name these, you know, what, whatever you like. I'm gonna right click on it again, and in the empty area, I'm gonna click on Create, XR, Reference Object Library, and I'm just gonna leave it as its default name. The other thing that I'm gonna need, and there are some components that I have in my desktop, is I'm gonna need a logo or an image. That's gonna be the image that we want to track. And I'm also going to have to implement the, basically a way to track and place the position of these of the game object that I'm going to be instantiating to the image that we're recognizing. So I'm going to create a new folder called scripts, which I already have. So let me go ahead and just go into that folder. And I'm going to place this script that I already implemented. There we go. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the AR session origin and I'm going to add my new script, which is going to be called track image info manager. It looks like by default it's adding the required components. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the component that I already added, and I'm just gonna re-add it. There we go, and that's everything that we're gonna be needing. So it looks like the type that we need to create for the AR Track Image Manager, it is not a XR Reference Object Library, it's gonna be an XR Reference Image Library. So if we go back in here, and we remove this component, Let's just go ahead and re-add it. And it's going to be the reference image library. There we go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new, a new image. And I'm gonna attach this image to it. So let me go back. And it's gonna tell me, okay, what is the 2D texture that I want to use. And of course, I'm gonna use that one. I also need to specify the size. So I'm gonna set it to, this is in meters. So I'm gonna say 0.1 on X and 0.1 on Y and everything else should be okay here. Awesome. So now what I need to do is I need to reference my reference image library to the AR Track Image Manager. So let's go ahead and do that. And this is going to add, this is going to ask me what's the max of moving images. So this is the maximum number of moving images to track in real time. I'm just going to say that I only want to track one. And then we're gonna be we're gonna need to put a, basically a prefab whenever we are recognizing that, whenever we're tracking. So to do that, I'm going to create a sphere. So let me go into prefabs. And it looks like I already have one for another object. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that. Awesome. We're also gonna be required to specify a camera that we're going to we're going to need during the tracking session. So I'm just gonna associate it with my track image info manager and we're also going to need a default texture to do that when we're identifying the images so i'm just going to go ahead and, and look for the checker my default checker image and we can just use the this one the, the y one 
So now let's open up the script so that I can explain it to you. There we go, and I'm just gonna make it smaller. So you notice that when I added a component, it added a AR track image manager for me. So this is what's doing that piece. This is going to be the camera that is required, and this is gonna be our AR camera. Then we also have a getter and a setter. We also have a default texture, and it says here if an image is detected but no source textures can be found, this texture is used instead. And we also have a getter and a setter there. And of course, we're going to need the component that comes from the XR namespace, which is called AR Track Image Manager. We get that instance right on the awake method. Then, when we enable this component, we add an event handler. So we're using the track images change and then track image images change on disable. So when we add it, we add the event, basically, we bind to this event. When we disable this game object, we remove that binding so that we, we keep everything clean. If you notice on the on track images change, let me go down to that. We are getting the arguments from the change event. Then we're looping through each image image that is getting tracked, and then we're modifying the local scale to make sure that it is 0 0.01. And then also on Y it's going to be Y and 0 0.001 on Z. So it's going to be 0 0.001 on X, Y is going to be 1, and then 0 0.001 on Z. So this is like it, like it says in the comments to give the initial image a reasonable default scale. And then once we find, once we're tracking the image, we call the method update info. And if we look at if we look at that method and see what it does, we get the information from the canvas. Then we assign the canvas world camera to be the world space camera that we associated on the on the top. And then this is basically for for information purposes. If we had a text box inside of the inside of the canvas. Basically, this allow us to, you know, to for, for debugging purposes to see different information. So we can see the image name, we can see the tracking state, we can see the GUID of that image. We could also see what the size is in respect to that image, and also the, this other size, so the reference image size, and then the track image size. So the other thing that is important in here, it's basically to get the local scale. So if you notice on the comment, the image stains is only valid when the image is being tracked. So here we're grabbing the track image that we that we identify and we're changing the local scale. Then we get the material, we set the material, and we also set the, the main texture material based on the material that is associated with the track image. So we're, we're saying if the track image reference image texture is null, then we assign a texture which is going to be the default texture. Otherwise, we use the track image texture to associate that to the material. If we're not tracking anything, we basically set the plane to be inactive. So that's basically what we're doing in this script. And if you want to, I'm going to be checking this scene so that you can test it yourself. But just know that the prefab that we put on the track image prefab, this is going to be the, the prefab that gets instantiated whenever we're identifying and detecting any of the images. This script right here allow us to also bound to some of the ev events that are triggered by the image, basically the AR track image manager. And then, of course, we got some debugging information. And also, we're all updating the scale based on some of the information that comes from the image that we're tracking. So that's everything I wanted to show you guys. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. Either you're starting out as a game developer or you're an advanced game developer. They have resources for you. And also find me on Patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes, early access to source code, and a lot more information that I only post in Patreon.com. So thank you again, guys.